Hello and welcome. The mathematical symbol of today is little o, denoted with a small o. If you know the big O notation, you will not be surprised that we also find parentheses next to the little o and also a function inside. So this is little o of g of x. However, the symbol only makes sense with respect to a limit, so we would write x goes to a number a. In fact, a could be a real number or the symbol infinity or minus infinity. Now, in this little o notation, we usually use an equality sign in a symbolic way. So we would say another function f of x is equal to little o of g of x. However, as for the big O notation, an element relation here would be the formal correct way. Nevertheless, of course, this is not so important. The important thing is that you know the meaning of this expression here. In fact, this little o here should tell you that the function g grows much faster than the function f when x goes to a. And this property can be expressed with a limit process. So we have limit x goes to a. And then we simply consider the ratio of f to g. Now, usually for consistency reasons, one takes the absolute value of this ratio. And then finally in the limit, this should go to zero. So you see, this equality tells us that the function g dominates the function f in this limit process. Okay, then I think it's helpful to look at an example here. Here, let's consider the function 8 times x squared. And the limit process we are interested in should be x goes to infinity. And now the function g should be just x squared. So here you should see, we do not have that the limit on the left hand side goes to zero. So this function is not of little o x squared when x goes to infinity. However, if we consider little o of x cubed, we have that the limit goes to zero. So we can say this function 8 times x squared is little o of x cubed. Okay, then I hope that this was helpful and that I can see you in the next video. Bye.